Hello everyone. I have in my hand two files. The lower one is a half round file and the upper one is a round file. Now when a file is doing its work and it's filing a piece of metal, the particles that it produces sometimes get caught in the gaps between the teeth. Now when that happens that causes two problems. The first is because the gaps are now full of particles they can't clear any more swarf from the job. They're actually holding the teeth up above the job. So you tend to push down harder. Well that then causes the second problems. As you push down harder and the gaps are filled with pieces of swarf that will then mar the surface of your job. So the surface finish will reduce. Now what that means is as you're using the files every now and then you've got to clean the surfaces. Now with a flat file there's no problem and there's loads of information on how to clean a flat file. But there's no information that I can find at least on how to clean a round file or a half round file. However over the years I've developed some of my own techniques on how to clean these files and that's what this video is all about. How do you clean the round file and the half round file? In a previous video I showed how a flat file works, how it gets clogged and how to clean it. We need to recap on a part of that video before we can look at how to clean a round file. Here you see a part of a flat file. The gaps between the teeth run in this direction. That's a piece of embodied aluminium and it's stuck in the gaps between the rows of teeth. This is a piece of 3mm or 8th inch thick aluminium about to be used as our scraper. The scraper needs to be shaped to fit around the teeth of the file. The closer the fit the better it cleans. This is how you shape the scraper. Push the scraper down onto the top of the teeth and move it in the direction of the teeth. Well what do you know? The teeth cut their own shape into the corner of the scraper. Now simply line up the scraper to the pieces embodied swarf and push it in line with the teeth. Well look at that, it works just like magic. Now that's all well and good for a flat file because a flat file has got a nice flat surface to work against. But a round file, as the name suggests, the outside is round. So how can we easily scrape across that to get rid of all of these particles? Well I gave this some thought and this is the idea that I came up with. I've now placed in the vise a fine round file and you can see there's particles of aluminium caught between the teeth. It's around about a quarter of an inch in diameter, that's about six millimetres. Now we need to clean the file. Now the idea that I came up with was instead of using the sharp edge along the top of the scraper here, could we use the side here? Now if we brought it up on its edge and we had um, a surface here which would grab hold of these particles we could use this like a saw and as long as we're in line with the teeth that would drag out the uh, particles. Well I grabbed hold of another piece of 3mm aluminium and did this to it. Now you can see that I've made these little cuts with, uh, with an axle. Now the idea is uh, push it backwards and forwards in line with the, the teeth which is around about that angle and with this sawing motion the, with all these different scrapers going past it should pull out the material. But of course before it can do that I need to get the shape of the file on this flat surface here and as you can see the surface is perfectly flat at the moment. So the first thing I need to do is find an area on the file where there, there is no uh, metal stuck between the teeth, place this on top of that area then push it backwards and forwards until the teeth cut their profile in this face of the scraper. So here we go, we've got a flat edge at the moment down the scraper. I'm going to use this part of the file just here, get in line with the teeth which is that angle and now move it backwards and forwards like this, trying to keep it in the same place all the time. And then hopefully the teeth will cut their profile on the flat edge of the scraper. We're now zoomed in on the edge of the scraper. The scale that you can see, those divisions are one millimetres apart. Now you can see along the edge of the scraper that the teeth of the file have actually cut their profiles in the surface. 
Now that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So the next thing we can do is put the scraper back on the file, go backwards and forwards in line with the teeth, and then this scraper should, we hope, scrape to the bottom of the gaps between the teeth and clean all the particles of metal out. Let's give it a go. Right, let's try our scraper out, then we're going to be scraping off, or trying to scrape off, that particle just there. You see it? Now that's a piece of aluminium swarf which is stuck between the teeth, so we've got to scrape in line with the teeth, which is up and down in this direction. So I will put it on, I'll scrape across the top and then come down to it. You've got to be in line with the teeth for this to work. And if you don't go in line with the teeth, the profile that you've cut on there will get filed off because the teeth won't be in line with it anymore. And there we go, that particle is now gone. Now, as to the best action to use, we know that the surface is round. We also know we need to hit it at the correct angle in line with the teeth. But we want to get to as many of those teeth as we can. Now, because that surface is round like this, and we're going to be going backwards and forwards across it, if we move the scraper in this particular way, then that, as we go around, it comes back and it scans across the top of that surface. And you will find that you can clean much more of the file if you use that motion than, than that motion. This doesn't seem to work very well, but this works the best, I've found. And then you can work your way up and down the file, remove all the particles, and then we loosen it off, turn the file around a little, tighten it back up, and then we can carry on on the next part of the file along here. And this is the best way that I've found of cleaning the files. Once you've gone up and down it and all the files, uh, all the particles have disappeared, what you'll find is uh, a part of this surface here on the scraper has, <laughs> has gone on here as well, but they're very fine and they come off easily. And then that's when I use a toothbrush, again in line with the teeth, go backwards and forwards, and that will take off all the dust that you've left from your scraper, and you end up with a nice clean file. I've now held in the vise a half round file. Now the action for cleaning a half round file is the same as cleaning a round file. In fact, it's a little bit easier because the radius of the file isn't so tight. Now, because this is a new file, or not a new file, but this is a different file, then the pitch of the teeth are going to be different to the round file. The round file is actually slightly finer. So that means that our scraper here has got the wrong profile on for these teeth. But that's no problem. All we do is put the, the scraper in line with the teeth, go backwards and forwards, keeping it in the same place, like this a few times, and then the teeth will cut their own profile into the flat of the scraper. Once you have that, you can then find out where, you can see where your uh, particles are, line up your scraper with the, with the teeth, and then do this action. And the shape that you've got cut into the side of your shaper will go down to the bottom of the teeth and clean out any particles of metal that are stuck in there, but it also gets rid of the, the dirt and muck that's on there as well. Now after a while, the gaps on the scraper will start to close up. So you need to put this into the vise and just go down with the axor again, just to clear those out. If those gaps get uh, closed right up, then it doesn't act as a scraper anymore. So it is important to keep those uh, clear. The next file we want to look at, this is a coarse round file. Now, it can be cleaned by using uh, this idea, but the, the teeth are so large, uh, generally it's a lot easier just to use a wire brush. You just go in line with the teeth, use the same action, this rocking action, backwards and forwards, and you find most of the time the, uh, the particles will come out from between uh, the teeth. If you've got some which are particularly difficult, then grab your scraper, use just the front corner here, and then you can flick them out. So that's the best way to do uh, a coarse file, be it round or a half round. 
So you now know how I clean my round files and my half round files. Now when you make a little scraper like this, um, it does take a little bit of practice to get used to it. You've got to be very careful and keep it in line with the teeth. If you don't then you mess up the shapes that you've cut on here so the profile doesn't match the teeth that you're trying to clean. So a little bit of practice and you will find this will work very well for you. Could you do something like this? Of course you can. And with that this video is at an end. Take care everybody, I'll see you next time.